fuck did you need to bring me for that? Why the fuck did I even agree to continue to even watch your kids? And What's up, YouTube? So we're going over right here, and I have a story time for you. So this story time is about the time I watched The Devil's Children. They were so fucking evil. But um, this took place when I was about 15 years old, and it was towards the end of my sophomore year and going into summertime. So after school, I would go over to uh, daycare. She was a home, she was a private home daycare, and I would go over there and help her, you know, with the kids, with their like homework, doing a little bit of arts and crafts and whatnot. And it was fun. And then it got to a point where she had told one of the moms about me and that mom, she wanted someone to watch her kids one night. I'm um, guessing she wanted to go out with some friends and whatnot. So it's just like, oh, okay, cool. You know, I can do this, get a little money. So I agreed to it. And she had two, two kids, one boy, one girl. Devil one, devil two, y'all. So it comes to the weekend, the Friday night where she comes pick me up uh, and we go to her place and I, you know, I meet the kids, they're being all nice, lovey-dovey to me, but that all changes once mama left the fucking house. They turned into the most evilest, conniving fucking children ever, just throwing shit everywhere, constantly asking me, oh, what's this? Why? 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 And I'm fucking 15 years old. I'm just like, oh my gosh, like, kill me now. And the boy's in the room playing his little video games while the girl, she's wanting to do my hair and my makeup. I'm letting her do that. She gets a fucking pair of scissors, tries to cut my fucking hair. My hair was already short at that, at that time. My hair was like, probably like, right here. And I wanted my hair to grow and I wasn't getting laid. And this little this little girl was trying to cut my hair. She tried to put gum in my hair. Whew. Yeah. So that was just the first night. The mom didn't come home till like 3 in the morning. Thank God the kids were in the room knocked out. And I had turned the TV off, PlayStation off, and I went back to the room to relax. They didn't go to sleep till like probably 2 in the morning. So that was just my first experience watching them. After that, you would think that I would not agree to watch them devil children again, but I agreed and I said, yeah, I'll watch those baby kids. So it comes to the next weekend where she wants me to watch the fucking kids. So this time I go over the being the same old crazy ass fucking kids. So this time that I went, I went earlier in the day it was about six o'clock i believe that i went we were all playing outside and the kids go oh we want to wash our dad's car and i was just like okay you know i'm not sure if your mom's gonna like that and they're like oh no it's okay my mom let they're like my mom lets us and then i'm like okay dumb you guys i should have called their fucking mom to double check to see if it was okay because and then it turns out to not be okay. So I'm like, okay, so they get some car cleaning stuff and whatnot, some towel, bucket, and some water, start cleaning the car. <laughs> and they're cleaning it, and I go out and watch, you know, and it's looking okay. And um, they finish up, they're like, oh yeah, it looks good. I'm like, okay, that's good, you know. So then we all go back inside, We're just relaxing, and they're actually being nice to me a little bit, you know, cuddling up under me and all that and we're watching tv and next thing you know i see one of them grabbing the phone and they're asking me oh i need i want to call my dad i'm just like well i don't think you'll be able to and the boy comes over that was the girl saying that the boy comes over and they're like yeah our dad's in jail i'm just like oh okay okay and the girl's like yeah i'm gonna call him I'm like i don't think you can call him sweetie like you might want to wait until your mama gets home to try and talk to him on the phone and uh, she's like, no, I'm gonna call him now. And I was just like, oh, no, it's like, you need to wait until your mom gets home so she can call for you. You don't know the number. She's like, yes, I do. So she takes the fucking phone, she fucking dials 911. 
And she's like, I'm calling the police on you. And why the fuck are you... In my mind, I'm thinking, why the fuck is this little bitch calling fucking police on me? She's like, I'm calling the police on you. And I'm still trying to fight with this little girl to try and take the phone. Saying, no, you, you know, you need to give me the phone so I can put it back. You're not supposed to be playing with the phone right now. And mind you, time had passed by, and at this point, it's already 10 o'clock. Sorry to mention that. So she's trying to dial 911, and at one point, she actually fucking dials it, and I have to hang up the phone. Oh, my God. It was bad, you guys. Those kids gave me fucking hell and they would when I'm sitting on the couch they would go run and jump on me <sighs> so fucking irritating you guys so fucking bad so their mom finally came home later that night and took me home and then the next morning she tells me I'm sorry but I can't pay you for you know yesterday's watch and I'm like well, why and she's like the kids messed up their dad's car and it looks like shit. And I'm just like, I washed him. It doesn't look bad at all. So I was just like, you know what? Fucking whatever. So I was so irritated. And at that point, I was just like, you know what? I'm not watching them fucking kids anymore. And the senator, I just kind of just hung up and I was like, okay, whatever. But no, it did not end there, you guys. I don't know what I was thinking at this point. So the next time she calls me, she's like, hey, you know, can uh, we have you on this day? And I'm like, okay, yeah, sure. So, I think it was like a Saturday, we go, and I get in the car, and we start driving, and I'm like, oh, where are the kids? She's like, oh, they're at their aunt's house, and I'm thinking like, okay, where are we going? Um, she's like, oh, you know, we're gonna go, um, we're gonna go out and get them, I was like, oh, okay. So we drive, we drive, and I think we get to, um, it was past the Bay Area. We stop at a grocery store. She's like, oh, do you want anything to eat? Some snacks and whatnot? And I'm like, okay. So I grabbed some, I think I grabbed some Cheez-Its, some beef jerky, and some other random stuff. And she grabs some fucking loaf of bread and a rotisserie chicken and some cheese. And I'm like, okay, so food for the kids. Okay, cool. So we get back in the car. We start driving even more. We get to this big almost industrial looking building but not really and I realized that I see people standing outside in line outside of this door in the building and she starts getting out she's like okay she's like I'll only be um, be a little bit I have this DVD player if you want to watch movies on it I'm just like wait what are we doing here and she's like oh she's like I'm here to um is visitations and I'm here to see my man she brought me to the fucking jail to sit in the fucking car so she could see her man. So she basically just wanted me to ride with her, be her company, to drive there so she can go visit her man in jail. Why the fuck did you need to bring me for that? Why the fuck did I even agree to continue to even watch your kids? And yet, I'm not even watching your kids at this point. I was really irritated. I sat in that car for over two hours waiting for her. The freaking DVD player stopped playing after like an hour and a half, so then I had like another 30 minutes or so to fucking kill, so I went outside, sat on the fucking grass, was on my phone, my phone was about to die, and it's just so fucking irritating. It's just like, why would you bring me to, with you? Like, I could have stayed my ass home. That was irritating. Didn't get paid for it, but I got free food out of it, so I guess it was okay. Then, there was another... Uh, incident where she decided to take me and her kids with her to go to um, I think uh, her aunt's house or whatever and she dropped us all off there and I'm thinking like okay well if your aunt's here to watch the kids why the hell am I even here because I stayed with them the whole time I'm like dude I'm not your family you know you seem cool at first but I don't feel like being here. I was so irritated, like, so irritated to the max. And there was this perverted fucking guy there just freaking kept staring at me, asking me, oh, you look pretty, how old are you? And all this fucking bullshit, I'm like, oh my god, like, this bitch needs to come back. I am ready to go. I am so done with all this kid, all this, like, bullshit.
attention. She finally came back and we finally went back home and whatnot. And I was just like, I, I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry. I'm done babysitting. I didn't answer her phone calls anymore. The kids even tried calling me saying, we miss you. And I'm like, bitch, I don't miss you. It was just fucking bullshit. I, oh my God. I mean, I've watched my nieces and whatnot, and they weren't even that bad. Like, they were baby's kids for sure. They were troublemaking ass kids. Like, I could not deal with it, and I can't believe I did, you know. But she didn't hook a girl up with a, a nice little flat iron. She did my hair. So did that in exchange instead of paying me, which I feel like I should have gotten money too. But hey, you know, she hooked my hair up. It wasn't looking too bad at the time, so I was like, okay. But yeah, that was the time I watched fucking Bebe's Kids. It was fucking horrible. So, hope you guys enjoyed the story. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for your girl. Please. Bye.